What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm John the Video Guy and in this short video tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to preserve skin tones inside Premiere Pro. Now this is going to be very helpful if you're color grading for the first time or if you're trying to mess around with a video clip and the colors just aren't coming out right, doesn't look natural in people's skin tones. This tutorial is going to help you out because I'm going to be showing you guys a few of the features inside Lumetri Color that you can use to adjust the settings. So let's dive on in. So I have a video clip in the timeline here and if you want to download and follow, follow along you can download it in the video description below. But basically we have a clip and we have a few a group of people here and we want to you know boost the colors of their shirts maybe the yellow the green and the red but you know if we go into color and I'll show you if we go under basic color and we just try to boost the saturation you'll notice that there's a lot of pink and the the image overall just doesn't look as natural. So in this tool, I'm going to show you guys how to control this. So the first tool that you can use is actually under the curves option. And if you scroll down and you go to hue versus saturation, what you can do is actually pinpoint the different skin tones. So you can choose the eyedropper tool and go over to a person's face, click and you'll notice that three dots of in the hue versus saturation and this is basically the range of the skin tone and if there's more than one person in your shot you can go over to a different person and choose their skin tone and you'll see that this range is expanding so this is a pretty decent range here from almost the pink side of things to the amber orange side of things and this will help us preserve those skin tones so for example say if we wanted to boost the saturation of his jacket what we can do is actually use the same tool to boost the saturation and what this really does is basically it you select the hue and then versus saturation is basically you're controlling the saturation of the hue so in this case we're controlling the skin tones here these aren't going to change but what we will change is the the saturation of the yellow hue so when we click that you'll notice that over here we have a new marker and if we bring it up then we get more saturation in the yellow and if we slide this over just a little bit and this up you'll see that we have a lot more saturation in his jacket here and if you check and uncheck this you'll see the difference and you can see that their skin tones have not changed one last example, the green, I'll just select her green jacket here. You'll see it's really close to the yellow here, so we'll just slide these up a little bit and we get some nice saturation in the greens. So there you go, that's before and after. So that's an easy way to control the skin tones, especially for colors that are outside or not close to the skin tones. So you might be wondering, you know, the guy in the middle has a red jacket and that's really close to the pink skin tone. Now another feature inside Lumetri Color is the HSL Secondary. This is very helpful for really fine tuning a certain color. So I'll show you guys how that works. So if we collapse the Curves tab and we go down to HSL Secondary, we can click this and it works similarly where you use the eyedropper tool to select a certain color. In this case, we want to select his hoodie, the red hoodie, and what you can do is click and drag and you'll notice that the sliders to the right adjust as you're finding the right area. And to see what we selected you can check this box next to color slash gray and it will show you what you have selected so far. And what you can do is adjust these parameters, these little sliders, to get it and fine tune the area. And basically the first one's hue, the second one's saturation, and the L is luminance and the L is what we're going to be focusing on here because if you notice you know we want to get that darker side and kind of more of the edges that are a little darker. So we're going to check that box again and we're going to slide this out a little bit and adjust the the range here to try to get more of the shadows. You can see you know wherever shown is what's being affected. So if you see other people's skin tones starting to appear, you might want to back it off a little bit. And this is an easy way to see exactly which colors you are actually pinpointing. 
and under here, once you got a selection, this is pretty close to most of the hoodie. So most of the hoodie is gonna get saturated or desaturated, we will have controls over. But a way to blur it so it's not as harsh of a change is that you can denoise it and blur it a little bit underneath. And you'll notice when we turn up the blur here, you'll blur kind of the color, essentially. And then you can do the correction. So under here, We'll uncheck this box so we can see the outcome of it. But, you know, if you want to make the red hoodie more saturated, you can bring this up and you'll notice that it is a lot more saturated now. If we check and uncheck the HSL secondary box, you can see the difference there. So we successfully saturated the red more while keeping and maintaining their skin tones. Now the HSL secondary, you can use it this way or you could actually do the invert. You can actually select a person's skin tone and desaturate it if you have already saturated the entire image. So I hope this tutorial has helped you guys and kind of give you guys some ideas if you're looking at ways to control people's skin tones and to color grade. Now, if you guys are color grading, I did find some cool free LUT packs. I actually made a video going over it. I'll link it right up here if you want to go check that out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Feel free to like and subscribe if you like these videos. And we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching.